Hey everyone, in this video you will learn how you can get a stock price drop alert on your email from your Google Sheets automatically. So guys here we have connected Google Sheets and we have used Google Finance function formula in the spreadsheet to collect the stock price updates. So whenever the price of a stock that you own falls below the price on which you have purchased that stock you will receive an alert email automatically via the workflow. So we have connected Google Sheets as the trigger and Gmail as the action application. And we are going to set up this automation using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And we are going to set up this without any coding. Let me show you how. So guys, this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And we have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to set up and test your automations okay so you can just sign up right now and then you have to sign in and reach the public connects dashboard which is going to look like this and guys here you have to click on this create workflow button to set up your automation so here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well so i am giving the name here as stock prices drop alerts Okay, so now click on create and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. All right, and here you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can uh, set up this automation. So guys, trigger here is that a module in which we are going to connect the trigger application and the trigger application is that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So the trigger event is that event which is going to start this workflow. Okay, and the action would be the consequence towards the trigger or the response, right? So guys, here you can see this is my spreadsheet I have created and this is the spreadsheet I have created in Google Sheets application. And guys, here I have used a Google Finance function formula. You can see this is the formula we have. You can see this is the formula we have here okay Google Finance so you can learn about this formula uh, from Google Finance platform okay and you can apply this formula here to get the stock price updates like this okay so, and here we are calculating the difference between the uh, price on which you have purchased the stock and the current price okay and as the difference falls below uh, a le uh, falls below the actual price that means you can see here the price of this stock is 26.08 and the price on which we have purchased this stock was 38 rupees. So this means the price have fallen below the purchase price. So we want to send an alert. Okay. For that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to schedule the running of my workflow in every 15 minutes. And in every 15 minutes, this workflow is going to check the spreadsheet and check the data. Okay. And calculate the difference, then send you the uh, email okay for that we are going to use a feature here in the trigger which is called scheduler so by scheduler you can schedule the running of the workflows according to your convenience okay so here you can see when i have selected scheduler it is asking how often you want to run your workflow so here we have all these options here i am selecting this one at regular intervals so at every 15 minutes i want to run this workflow so here you can select the number 15 i have selected and in the time span you can select hours days or weeks so i want minutes here so just click on save and here you can see this workflow is scheduled to run at every 15 minutes okay right so here in the action what i want after every 15 minutes, this workflow should check this spreadsheet and check the price and the current price, right? For that, we need to connect my spreadsheet here. So search for Google Sheets application here in this step and select the action event as get rows. So it will retrieve the data from your spreadsheet according to the rows. Okay, select it, then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. Okay, so from this window, select that Google account by which you have created that spreadsheet, then provide some additional access to Pabli Connect, just click on continue from here. And you will be connected with, you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected with Google Sheets. 
here it is showing select your spreadsheet field so it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets that you have from here you have to select the spreadsheet in which you have the data so you can see this is my spreadsheet named as stock price alerts so I'm going to select this from this list you can see it is here select it okay the sheets name is calculations so you it got auto selected here and here it is asking for the range of data that you have that you want to retrieve from your spreadsheet so guys I want to retrieve the data of the name of uh, the stock the symbol of the company the number of shares the price the current price okay then we are going to calculate the difference automatically let me erase this data from the difference column and I'll show you how show you how you can calculate the data automatically okay so first of all just start selecting the data from the second row and select the first row like this till this E column okay and now start selecting down and select the whole data so when you're done selecting the whole data in the name box you can see we got this code a2 colon e17 so this means you can just copy this code and this means that we have the data starting from column a row second to column e row number 17 this is the range of data we have so you have to put this range here in this field a2 colon e17 okay now to get the data from your spreadsheet click on save and send test request but before that toggle this simple response button to off why we are doing this i'll tell you just click on save and send test request now and here you can see when i have toggled this simple response button to off we got the data in this format in this array of data format so why we have fetched the data in array format because now uh, just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up and here we are going to use iterator feature of Pabli Connect. So what iterator will do, iterator will segregate this array in row by row form. Okay, so iterator will make this workflow run row by row one by one for each stock information starting from the first row and that's how it is going to work. Okay, so come to this action step and uh, here you can see we have this iterator selected and here it is asking to choose your array so when you click here it will show you the previous step and from here only you can select the select this response result array which is this okay select it then click on save and send test request and here you can see guys it has started showing the details of the first row that we have you can see here the first row is here and the data were captured here like this okay now guys uh, after getting the data we want to calculate the difference between the price and the current price and we want to update the difference here in this column for that to happen just click here on this plus icon and from this another action step search for number formatter so with the help of number formatter we can perform mathematical operations by selecting the action event as perform math operation okay then click on connect and here it is asking the numbers on which you want to uh, apply any math operation so we got the numbers here you can see we got the price label and the current price label okay so we are going to map both of these labels here so just click here and it will show you the previous steps like this so from this iterator only map the price then put a comma and then map the current price okay and here you can select the operation that you want to perform so we want to subtract this price we want to subtract the current price from the actual price of purchase okay so select subtract operation then click on save and send test request and here you can see the result is this 11.92 so uh, this means the here you can see the result is positive so when the result is positive that this means that the first price is greater then the second price then only you will find the positive res results of the subtraction this means the current price is lower than the actual price of purchase okay that means the price has fallen down so I want to send I want to get an alert about this uh, falling down of the price so that I can sell the stock okay for that to happen uh, first of all we are going to update this result in my spreadsheet here in the different section difference column for that just click here on this plus icon and here we are going to connect with my spreadsheet again so search for google sheet again okay and in the action event we have this 
update cell value option. You can see we have this update cell value. Select this, then click on connect. And the connection that you make here with applications are saved in your account. So if you want to make the connection again with the same application in the workflow, you can use the saved connections. For that, you just have to select this existing connection option. And here it will show you the list of your, all your saved connections. From here you can use any of your saved connection. So after that click on save and you will be connected again. So we are connected again guys and here it is asking to select the spreadsheets name again. So select the spreadsheet. Okay. Here it is asking in which the range of data, the range of uh, uh, column and the rows in which you want to put the data, update the data. So here I want to update the data in this D column, sorry, not uh, D column, actually in the F column. Okay. Here I want to update the data in F column row number second. So you just put F here, capital F. And for the row index, we are going to use the previous steps. So from this iterator, where you will find the data one by one of each row, map this row index label here. Okay. So with every execution, this label are these labels that you map are going to be updated and the correct value will be filled in the correct column and the correct cell. Okay, right. And what is the value that you want to update? I want to update the difference that we got here in the previous step. So map this result label here in this value field from this last step. Okay, and then click on save and send test request and the cell value will be updated. Let me show you. I am clicking on save and send test request. Here's the response we have received. Let's check in the workflow if we got, sorry, let's check in the spreadsheet if we got the data updated. And here you can see we got 11.92 updated here in the difference column. Okay, so our connection is working fine. So our calculation is done. After that, what we want guys, whenever I got the positive result here, I want to receive an email about this falling of the price. So first of all, we are going to ensure this condition that the price have fallen down below uh, the actual purchase price. Okay. In all these cases, you can see in the second row, the current price is actually greater than the purchase price. And here also you can see the current price is greater than the actual purchase price. In such cases, we do not want to receive an update. We only want to receive an update whenever the price falls down below the purchase price. Okay. For that, just click here for applying this condition. We are going to use this filter feature here, select filter option. Okay. And here it is asking select your label. So here I am going to select this label guys, the result label of the math operation. Okay. This result table. So to select it, just click here in the filter and it will show you this number formatter step from here, map the result label. And here it is asking for the filter type. So in the filter type, I'm going to select uh, greater than. Okay. And here in the value put zero. This means that when this result is greater than zero, that means when the difference shows you the positive result, then only send the update. So this is how you can ensure the condition. Now click on save and send test request and you can see the condition is true. Okay. So when this condition meets true, then only you will receive the update, uh, receive the alert on email. So to send, to receive an email, just click here on this plus icon. And from here we are going to use Gmail application. So search for Gmail here. Okay. And in the action event, select send email option, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Gmail. And from here you have to select that uh, Gmail or Google account by which you want to send the emails. Okay. Now from here, provide the additional access to Pabli connect, just click on continue and you will be connected with Gmail. Okay. So you can see we are connected and here it is asking for the recipient's email address. So here you have to fill your email address, uh, the, the address on which you want to receive the emails. Okay. If you want to put someone in CC or BCC, you can fill the email addresses here. You can fill the sender's name here. So I'm filling the sender's name as uh, stock keeper. Okay. You can fill any name. I'm just showing you the demo. Email subject would be stock price 
falls down okay and here in the content type selecting plain content and in the email content you can actually type the email that you want to receive so let me type a standard email so guys here you can see i have written this email uh, i have written dear stock owner so here you can fill your name this is to inform you that the stock price off so after off i want to put in the name of the uh, stocks company and you will find the stock details from this iterator step from this tree is iterator step you can map the name of the company like this and here you can read the stock price of this company shares has fallen down by rupees and here you can uh, map the difference that you got from the number formatter okay by this rupees and after that i have written please find the time to review your own stocks data put data here okay thanks and regards so this is the alert email i am going to receive and the fields i have mapped here the labels i have mapped here are going to change with every new mail okay with every new execution of the workflow okay now you can check your connection with your email by clicking on save and send test request button and a sample email or a test email will be delivered to you in your inbox so i can show you how the email is going to look like here i am going to put my email address in the recipient then i'll click on save and send test request to show you the email so guys this is my uh, email inbox and here let me click on save and send test request and let's see how the email is going to appear so this is the response i have received here let's check in my inbox if we got a new email and the new email is here with the sender's name as stock keeper the you can see the subjects stock price falls down and you can see the email the stock owner this is going to inform you that the stock price of vanguard star fund investor shares has fallen down by this rupees please find the time to review the shares so this is how it is going to work guys so every time your uh, difference become positive here the workflow is going to check this spreadsheet in every 15 minutes and you will receive these kinds of alerts automatically okay so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow after that uh, this workflow is going to run in every 15 minutes in the background and check your spreadsheet and send you the email alerts automatically so guys if you want to use this workflow you can use it because i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.